And there we go. I think this is something cool. Uh, now, this is the um, <clears throat> Breda's PMX-S. So the, their PMX is actually a submachine gun developed for military and police use. Uh, so not available to us mere, you know, mortal civilians. Uh, this is the S version, which is semi-automatic. Now, to be fair, they actually released this officially in like 2022. Uh, at 2022 SHOT Show. Um, actually, it might have even been the year before that. Uh, however, um, like many things that are released at SHOT Show, it never really Don't come came to, to the market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but now it's official. You can actually go out and find these. They're still kind of limited, but they're, they're available. So, uh, let's see. After years of refinement uh, of the PMX for military and law enforcement agencies around the globe, the PMX-S has been translated into a semi-automatic pistol variant for civilian and modern sporting applications. The PMX-S is a highly reliable and proven direct blowback design coupled with modern uh, polymer components to enhance durability and save weight. Packed with versatile features such as fully ambidextrous controls for user adaptability, multiple attachment points such as QD and sling mounts, and a 1 half by 28 TPI threaded barrel for accepting 9mm muzzle devices. Yes, this is a press release. So, uh, um, suggested uh, MSRP is $14.99. I've already seen some street pricing at around $13.99, so about $100 less. Uh, it is a single action, 9mm semi-automatic, 6.9 inch barrel. It's threaded half by 28. Uh, 30 round magazine, 9.8 inches high, 16.4 inches long, 2.8 inches wide, ambidextrous safety. Um, it's a little on the chunky side. It's 88 ounces unloaded. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's not a lightweight, uh, but if you take a look at that, let me pull this picture up. I like here. the way it looks. It, I think it looks cool. Now, the upper left and upper right pictures, uh, that's the fully stocked version, um, which, I'll be honest, I'm sure they intended to release this in the U.S. with a pistol brace, but we all know what's happening with those. So, those are pictures of what it would look like with a stock. I guess if you filled out all the paperwork and stuff, you could do that. Generally speaking, it's going to be available as a pistol, is how they're going to sell it in the U.S., and that is the larger lower picture. Uh, so it's the same gun, just without the brace thing on the back. Wasn't the congressional hearing today on that? Actually, I think you might be right on that. I think it was today, so maybe we'll have some news upcoming for you on that. I didn't, I didn't catch any blips off, uh, off of uh, the Twitters, but I think uh, that happened today. Yeah, I, we will, uh, we'll need to check up on that and uh, try to find out what's going on and you know, maybe try to get a release out there to you. Uh, but I just think this is a cool-looking gun. It's on the pricey side. It's $14.99 MSRP. When the price all settles down, it's you know from Beretta, so I think that $13.99 is probably going to be a fairly solid street price. You're not going to, you know, pick this up for cheap. And yes, it's just another subgun style and 9mm direct blowback. Now, you're a Beretta guy. I am this, a Beretta is guy. Is this on your radar? Not really. Um, mostly because this is the same market segment as the CZ Scorpion, um, as the B&T, uh, as, you know, the, as the name 20 of the other ones that are out there already on the market. Uh, now, the other ones don't say Beretta on it. That's right. So I can't say it's, it's, I'll never it, end up yeah, with one, yeah. uh, but it's not one I'm going to rush out and get. Uh, but I do think it looks cool, so I wanted to kind of get this out there.